Hello everyone. I just wanted to say a massive thank you. At the time of making this, my first Hitman Locations video is at over 56,000 views with 200 comments. And that is just surreal to me. So yeah, thank you, enjoy the video and here's to many more. So before we start, a few things you need to know. First things first, make sure you have the deep profiler. This is pretty much required to effectively farm operatives. Secondly, I would recommend using a spy or someone similar with a vehicle and ideally a suppressed weapon, but it's not required. And lastly, make sure you've completed the mission reporting for duty. This enables special operatives to spawn. This is the mission where you have to hire a construction worker. Now that that's out of the way, we can begin. Basically, the method is to just check every location, then fast forward time and check them all again. Then you just rinse repeat until you're happy. For an example, I'll use some Hitman locations. First step is to just go to the locations. Do a full rotation around all of the spots you want to check. As many as you want, whatever time you want. Now, as you can see, I got no Hitman to spawn. So I fast travel to the next location. Keep in mind, you are not guaranteed to find one. It's all based on the random schedule the Hitman has generated. I'll show you what I mean later in the video. So here, I managed to find a Hitman. I check his profile, take a look at his face, listen to his voice. He has a bad perk, so if you find an operative and don't like the role, such as this one, this is where the suppressed pistol comes in handy. If you have ever played a loot based game like Borderlands or Destiny, this is the equivalent of deleting a bad roll weapon, only it's with people instead. The suppressor makes it so no one calls the cops. That's the first reason a spy is really handy. The second reason a spy is great is their ability to spawn a fast car. This helps a ton when farming a lot of locations. The car also has a cloak ability, which is great for losing the cops should you accidentally run one over. Now that we have done a full rotation, again, you can do as many locations as you want, it's time to fast forward time. To do this, make sure you have a recruit, anyone off the street is fine, it doesn't matter. Go to the deep profile, find an activity taking place at the time you want. For example, I want to skip ahead to night time, somewhere around 10pm. So I go into the recruit's profile, I find a suitable time, and I mark it. This puts a marker on your map, head there now. When you arrive, don't worry about parking, press the button to wait. This will skip time ahead, and now you can start farming locations again. So that is the basis of how to farm operatives, but I still have some more information for you. One thing you should always do is check each recruit's recruitment leads. This is at the top of the deep profiler. Most of the time it's just random stuff about shipments, etc. But sometimes it will show you another person, such as a family member or a rival. For operatives like spies and hitmen, this can actually lead you to another spy or hitman. For example, my hitman Cody here has the known location of another hitman, which means I could potentially go there and hire him. Unfortunately, she's just an amateur hitman, so none of the cool perks, but you get the idea. If it's a rival or an opponent, you can remove them to get good favour with your original recruit, or you can choose to recruit the rival as well. And yes, it is possible to recruit both, if you're wondering. I have done it. Earlier, I mentioned a hitman schedule. This applies to all NPCs in the game. This is a little tough to explain, so bear with me here. What I mean by this is their schedule on the deep profile. Let's use my hitman Jim here as an example. 
On the deep profile, you can see where he will be at what times. A lot of these are just random activities most NPCs do, like socializing and hanging out with other people. So we can cross those off the list. Now, when they're sleeping, NPCs are in buildings, so they're unreachable. That leaves stalking targets. 99% of the time, when you find a hitman at a specific location, they will be stalking targets. This is an 8 hour window where they will just stand around doing nothing. So if we pretend I can't see Jim's schedule here. If I went to that location between 8am and 4pm as it says on his profile, I would find him. Now, of course, you can only see their profile once you've actually found them. So it's just a complete guessing game when the eight hour stalking targets window begins and ends. That is why we try the same locations over and over again at different times. Right, so a quick summary. Own the deep profiler, use a spider farm, complete the mission reporting for duty first, check out all the locations you want to check, Dispose of any bad role operatives, recruit anyone you like, and check their leads for bonus recruits, and fast forward time to whatever you want to try next. So that concludes this little guide. Hopefully it helps you out. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments, I'll do my best to answer.